Can we call him 132? He's done it the showbiz way. Ball, ball, double 16. Going to have to be trouble 19 and ball 88 left. 92. Tops. Danny requires 147. Perfectly. Oh, hello. 87. Luke requires 40. Can't miss this time. Oh, he can. That was a bad dart. That came out of his hand wrong. Game shot on right. fourth play. Lou Littler. Someone has backed Danny Lowby to win this game. They might be 97. Because this is a very cushy position. Ninety-three. Danny required Pick your forty-six. Roots. And it's tops. Game. And it's a win for Lowry. And the match. Danny Lowry. There you go. It's not going to be a perfect group for Luke Littler. He's just hit the brakes a little bit. Average just shy of 87 there, but Lowby stayed in the mid-90s range and his doubles were excellent. The fact that the biggest... West still in command. There wasn't a great deal between them in the doubles percentage yesterday. 31% for West. Colin, you require 141. For trying to figure out... <laughs> Every metric we... you look at is lower. Yeah, none of it makes sense. 133. Steve requires 60. Timing, wasn't it? Okay, double top. Has to move. Game shot That's on the second what he does. Way. He doesn't Steve throw West. those flatties in there. Right there. Oh, here he comes. The Burra Terrier. Game it's just classic Colin play. Osborne, that. Colin Osborne. He just won't let you go. I told you, didn't I? I did a... Oh, hang on. Hang on. A coaching day with a guy that... had 140. And himself to play left Senior required 95. Just... <laughs> wow. How? I don't think I can get them in the board with me left hand. Oh, it's a match start tops. Game and it's shot. a beauty as well. And the match, Steve That's West. a great recovery after a dart that didn't find its target to start the visit. But the way that Westy has been on tops in that match, you have to just tip your hat because look at the stats there. Yeah, that's pretty good. 180. Yeah, that's special. Nil, totally 86. different look to this 86. Single 18 leaves the ball. Wants the button. Game show on the third leg. This could Neil be Duff. irony personified tonight for Neil Duff, couldn't it? Beautiful first start from Duffman. Of course, it's a ferry from Belfast, isn't it? To Strand Riot. It's going to be one hundred approach from Neil Danny, but he's in a bit of trouble here because Duffman... Is hitting doubles the tonight. Play. Nil Duff. 3 1. And I can hear the sound of rubbing palms. Fifth in the it's practice Danny room. to throw. Four 19s and ball. Sorry, Paul. Biggest finish we saw from Lowby Danny yesterday was 157, which at the time was the biggest finish of the week. It's been usurped since then. Double 12. 132. Super of effort. Neil, you require the 40. The doubling from Duff has been outstanding. Three from four. Game shot. There was a look the on match. the face. Neil Duff. Of the WDF world champion there. As if to say, I am going to hit this double 10, whether you like it or not. And he gets his first win of the group. He's going to have to win them all by some distance to stand any sort of chance. It's very, very slight. So it's Steve to throw first. Game on. Let's look at what Luke, uh, Steve did in that match before we take a look at Luke. A couple of 180s from Westy. An average in excess of a ton. 180. Luke was 80% on the doubles at three 180s and had 107.55 average. 100. And it also included that very near, incredible 1-2-2 finish, didn't it? Indeed. 
Luke said to us at the end of the night, One it doesn't really matter. Let's focus on the now. Is this the third time he's 57. done this this week? Steve, you're calling 141. It's on this time. It's still on. Game show on the Steve first West. leg. He's promised Steve it all West. week. And he's the first person not called Connor Heenahan to have a perfect leg in Portsmouth. And he's losing. Bullseye again. How much of it can he see? 53. Steve, you're quiet. 130. Double five. 120. Wow, that was close, just like the top shot. Luke, you require 41. Still had to find himself. 3 1 down. And Game shot on the fourth play. Lou Littler. It's 3 1 Littler. You need to see this. Fifth leg, it's Steve to throw first. Game on. Oh, come on. Everybody thought he was going to get a look at that double 61. But this is Steve such a big ask. 147. I see at the... The nine. Might as well get the maximum break. 91. <laughs> Luke required 25. Call himself Sean Murphy. Double 10. Littler Game wins it. shots and the match. It's another Lou big Littler. average for Steve West in defeat this week. And Littler wins it with 95.34. West loses with 104.18. He's having one of those weeks where he's losing a lot of matches, even though his statistics are better. You require 121. Blitzed. You play three hours in the morning, then you have a break, and then you play for the rest of the afternoon. 105. Good thinking going that way with Osborne back on 185. Yeah, I agree. I think taking the bullseye out of commission at the start of that visit was the right thing to do. 123. One Nearly Duff requires 16. For a break. He needs fours. Game shot on the fourth play. He's been Nailed so up. good. For the win, it's double top. 50. We'll be back because Osborne stranded all the way back on 3 to 8. I think he's a bit mystified as to what's happening up there. Nil, you required 20. He might not get another dart. And he Game, doesn't. Shots, another and polished the display Nailed from the off. WDF champion. He wins by four legs to one. It's very steady at 86, the average. But 40% on the doubles. It's all very consistent for Neil Duff tonight. And he when Lauren Roberts and Colin Montgomery tied with Ernie Els in the mid 90s. Whoa, I wanted to watch the golf. And it finished on a Sunday night. And then Danny I had to take 72. it off to watch the 18 old playoff. Single 20 for tops for Lowby. Game shot on the and third And that is a 2-1 lead. Danny Lowby. very effective 15 daughter. Neither of which we've seen this week. But will we see it now? 120. Danny require 170. We've seen some close calls on the ball on big shots this week. But now it's down to West on a small 105. shot. 105. Steve, you're 41. For tops. This is that famous Costa Rican striker shot. Paolo won tops. Game and it's there shot. for West. And it's a match. huge two Steve points. West. A tremendous contest once again between those two. They might both still qualify, but then it'll come down to what other people do in their matches. But when... now he looks at tops. Game and wins shot the, the leg. second leg. Lou Littler. 57. If Duff misses this, which he might not. What's he going to choose? Double 16 or double top? 
Luke Rakai, 52. I'll go for tops. You were right. And Game, so was Littler. Shots and the match. He Lou may be Littler. a genius because he has just, by the looks of it, eliminated Neil Duff from Champions Week. And he's swelling his points total to 12. He's going to win this group. And he's done so with different equipment, different shirts, different shoes, different everything. He may be able to do anything he wants. But as far as Osborne and Laubi are concerned, things are urgent when we come back. Till the last 10 seconds. He's very apt to dip in his bread. Tops is the gravy. 50. That would Danny have been Danny required 20. But this is for a break back. Game shot on the third He's been pretty useful on double 10 Danny this Lowry. evening. Moving Colin, you require 121. Well, I was on the end of it firsthand, of course, when Conan Whitehead Game show on the fourth did the leg. business as Colin, Colin Osborne, Osborne. Did, the, did the business there. A 1 2 1 checkout for a 12 dollar instant break back against Littler. Obsolete. Double 10. 60. He will be back for that double 10. You know how some runners can just pace themselves and strike at the right time? Colin, you require 20. Is Osborne about to do that? Double four. Game shot. That is a 4 and one win for Colin, Colin Osborne. Osborne. And by our calculations, the wizard has just gone and qualified. Danny Lowby can do nothing more. If West was to get a nil victory in this game, yeah, he would beat Neil line. Duff over two Steve days, 8-0. Steve, you're requiring 92. Seventy-six. He's just plotting Neil, his way around the dartboard at this race. He's on a match dart, which is guaranteed now. And to confine Neil Duff Steve, you're to the bottom of the 16. table. Game West shot does not have to match. wait. Steve West. He qualifies by getting 10 points in this table. It's been a very good campaign. But for Duffman, his Champions Week is over. There you can see it's a really good end performance from Steve West, a mid-90s average, and there was a lot to admire about that. Welcome back to the Motor Super Series where Steve West joins us up here on the balcony. Steve, many congratulations through to Champions Night. Just sum up your feelings right now. Uh, I, I, I don't know, because last time I came here for Champions Week, I, I was pretty unlucky, really, to not go through, and I wanted to make that right, and I've achieved that, so I'm... I'm just happy. I'm over the moon with it. Was that an extra little bit of motivation on your mind going into tonight? Yeah, amongst other things. You know, I'm struggling myself, obviously, you know, and, you know, just to get through, uh, have the chance. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Right, you did something a bit special tonight, didn't you, Steve? The nine dart finish. Now, you did promise us a nine darter this week, and you stood up and you delivered. Yeah, I, saw, I was close earlier on in the week, and I thought, well, you know, it's there. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm confident that, that that's going to happen. But, yeah, when it happened and lose 4-1, <laughs> I was like, well. Talk us through it. This is the nine data, the double drop. What, how, what were you feeling? Did you feel last dart, there's no way I'm going to miss? Yeah, because like, any dart player will tell you, if they've hit one, they know. And, and, you know, the first two trebles goes in, you could throw it like that. And it, it's, it's just one of them things. It feels good. You know it's right. And it's just going to happen. And that's... You know, it's part and parcel. You've achieved so much in your career, but how does getting through to a night like tomorrow compare to some of the other things that we've seen you achieve? Yeah, look, the other achievements have, have been good wins against top players in top tournaments, but I've never won a PDC event, a Pro Tour or any of that, and, and it doesn't bother me, really. I mean, you know, you don't have to win events to be good. I've been good.
I've had a good career and, and something like this. If I can go on and win this, this would be a pinnacle probably, yeah. Almost like a cherry on top of the cake yeah. moment. Yeah, just sort of to say, well, I've achieved something, you know, and, and you know, uh, it's not a, a small amount of money, is it? It's not uh, something you can just go, oh, well, you know, no, this is this means something. And it means something to everyone that plays here because this is probably, the, under the PDC, I think this is probably the next best thing that, that we've got. And, and fantastic. I think it's, it's great. And I love to come here all the time. I love it. It's been great having you here. And we're going to have the crowd in tomorrow night. And is the Steve West Army going to be here in force tomorrow? Well, mum and dad's next door, so I'm sure they'll have something to say about that. And, and Michelle's with me, obviously. And, yeah, them three are the most important thing. So I'm sure we'll have a, a few here. Well, Steve, great to see you playing well. Great to see you happy as well. And we look forward to watching you tomorrow night here at the Live Lab. So Excellent. Steve West through to Champions Night tomorrow. As are the two players competing in our final game of the session as Luke Littler takes on Colin Osborne with Paul Nicholson and Chris Mason down in commentary. Cool. Sixty one. Colin been, required one hundred and twenty. I've almost stopped speculating as to where he's going to go next on shots. I just have to wait to see what he's going to do. We know what Colin's doing. 100. Luke, you require yeah, 40. That. Game shot on the third leg. Another Luke Littler. break of throw. It's not going to be a perfect campaign for Luke. Oh, my apologies. That was our first hold. Night 58. Was great tonight, of course, but wouldn't it have been lovely tomorrow night in front of a, a packed house? I'd like to see another one. Packed church. <laughs> 82. Colin, you require 48. Double top. Game shot on the fourth leg. Double. Colin Osborne. He's had three more than Luke. Luke, you require 111. Ball. 11. Ball. Game shot on the fifth leg. Lou Littler. What more can be said? That is classic. Or should I say, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, about a 16-year-old boy. Sixth leg, it's Colin to throw vintage first. Luke Game Littler. on. And a bogey number is what he's left. That's 225s. 70. That's a second match dot missed. He's been mustered on double 10 all week with his previous setup. 97. How is he this Luke time? Luke required 20. With the experimental set. Game there it shot. Is. And the match. He's Luke your Littler. winner of Group B. And Osborne will join him on Saturday night. It's been an enthralling group scenario. Osborne didn't play his best darts at all, but towards the end, he played some stellar stuff.